Thanks, Jung Ho. We start at South Korea's presidential office and with a change coming for the country's workers. Starting in July, employees will see their maximum time on the job reduced by 16 hours a week. Today, in his cabinet meeting, President Moon explained more about the rationale for the shorter week and how it'll be implemented. Our Blue House correspondent, Hwang Ho Jun, reports. A work week shortened from the current 68 hours to 52. That new limit will apply starting July 1st. And the president believes it will bring about positive changes in workers' daily lives. OECD 국가의 연평균 노동 시간보다 300 시간 이상 더 많이 일해온 우리 노동자들이 장시간 노동과 과로에서 벗어나 가족과 더 많은 시간을 갖고 저녁이 있는 인간다운 삶을 누리는 at a cabinet meeting on Tuesday, President Moon said shorter working hours will be an opportunity for businesses to find creative ways to be more productive while also freeing up new jobs. He insisted that society will be able to handle the change, including the pay cut that will come with fewer hours and the extra burden on management. That's because the new regulations will be phased in, starting with companies with more than 300 employees. Regarding the recently approved $3.6 billion supplementary budget drawn up to create more jobs for young people and to boost the economy, the South Korean president urged the government to make sure that it's implemented without delay. Meanwhile, according to a Blue House press release, President Moon and his cabinet approved a bill passed by the legislature to appoint an independent counsel to investigate the political manipulation of online comments, the scandal named after a power blogger going by the handle Drew King. He allegedly rigged the Internet comments to sway public opinion, while ruling party officials, including former lawmaker Kim jong soo are said to have covertly endorsed his campaign. Kim has denied the allegations. And the National Assembly passed the act last week. For the past few weeks, President Moon, along with the rest of the world, have been on a diplomatic roller coaster as North Korea and the U.S. go back and forth over their summit plans. But the president's meeting with his cabinet shows the administration is determined not to overlook pressing issues at home. Hwang Jun, Arirang News.